Hey, love, and welcome to the Love Mish podcast. I am your host, Mish. There are a billion people in the world, and I'm just one of them. And welcome to my podcast, where I'll share my thoughts, opinions, and ramblings, and sometimes I'll have guests, and no subject is off limit. So let the conversation begin. Go Mimi, go Mimi. It's the Misha podcast. Hey, go Mimi, go Mimi. to another episode of Love Mish Podcast. On today's episode, we are going to talk about passing the real estate exam. Oh my God. Oh my God. This has been such an uphill battle for me. I started this journey in 2014 and I felt sad and defeated and depressed and angry and everything I just could not pass the test but I've lived a little I learned some more lessons and I passed the test like I could literally cry like it was so shocking that I didn't even tell anybody for like two weeks and then I told my sister and I told my other sister Um, And I told my brother and his wife and my dad. And I just kind of, and my friend. And I just kind of kept it to myself. Because it was like, oh my God, this is something 
that I thought wasn't going to happen. Have you ever wanted something and, you know, tried to access it, you know, as best as you could with all your resources and stuff and it just never happened and you just kind of felt defeated. That's the word. I felt defeated because in my life, I can conquer mostly everything. Mostly. There's some things that I'm still fighting to battle and conquer. But like job interviews, I've never walked out of a job interview without a job. Um, even if it was a manager. My God. It'll be like cashier, manager, let me apply for the manager. Um, and I just, you know, tell them my attributes. They can see my personality, my energy, my smile. And I usually get a job. Um, so, you know, that's like triumph. When you triumph so much, when defeats come, you you know, it, it, they kind of take you down a road you haven't been down before. So, you know, high school, I mastered it. Associate's degree, I mastered it. Bachelor's degree, I mastered it. Went ahead and got my master's degree. First one in the family, mastered it. Um, I wanted to get my PhD, but the way them student loans is looking. And then I noticed two that a lot of successful people are successful not because of college degrees but just from skill sets that they've learned so you could pick up a book and read the same book that someone's reading in a college class and y'all both walk away with the same information they had to pay a school a professor and all whatever other fees and you just pay for the cost of the book so i get why they say college isn't necessary but i do think you do learn some things in college as well like I, I wish I would have went away to college and lived on campus because I'm pretty sure I would have got some life lessons from living on campus that I eventually learned but I would have learned them in a shorter amount of time I think it took the route I took it just took me longer to learn a couple of things but that's okay um so for anyone out there that has failed at anything this is not just real estate at anything I am here to tell you that I have the answer. <laughs> I figured it out. Like it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And you know me, Sharon is Karen. So you just heard Billy Carson, who's amazing. I could listen to him for hours and hours and hours. Thank you, universe, for sending that vessel. Just like many others on earth, because I just absorb that type of um, information, knowledge, incitement, and it just does something to my spirit, to my soul, I don't know, to my mind. I just love it. Um, what he was basically explaining is that you can have all the intentions in the world of doing something, but that's not going to get it done. There, there's, there's more to it. There's more to it. I also remember... Um, uh, Nikola Tosila said, uh, if you want to learn the, if you want to learn the keys to life or success to life or like something like that, think of three things, numbers, energy, and frequency. And I was like, numbers, numbers, numbers are, you can't, numbers don't go in every scenario, but they do. We have to put them in numbers. For example, I'm going to tell you about my history with real estate before and then now. And then we're going we're gonna to take that story from words and flip it to numbers. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. So back in 2014, I was working at ADT. Um, I decided that I was going to start a new career in real estate. I signed up at Watson. Shout out to Watson. I went in the class. I took the class. We had study guides and like all that stuff. The class was amazing. I'm not going to knock it. I had all the notes. The guy even starred. And this was before the internet really got popping. So he typed up all this stuff. He starred the questions that was on the test. So he, he was like, all right, y'all really want to put your shitty star. So, you know, I could have passed with him had I known 
myself a little more and had I known what was needed to pass, but I didn't. I studied a little bit, I failed. Y'all, do you wanna know how many times I failed? Oh my God, I even had sat with, cause when you take the test, I passed the, 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 the test in the class. And cause you can't go take the other test until you pass in the class. So I passed in the class, I took it to Pearson, and this is what, um, Back in 2014, it was no online, so you had to go in. So I went in. The second time, I was able to do it from home, but I'll get to that. I went in. You know, you take the test, and at the end, they tell you if you pass or fail. Failed so many times. Y'all, it felt like I was in a boxing match. It felt like I was in a boxing match with um, this real estate license, and it was kicking my ass. I was losing. T-K-O, okay? So I... On um, Pearson, when you create an account, you can go and look back at your history. Oh my God, y'all, look. May 14, 2014, failed. May 28, 2014, failed. June 19, 2014, failed. July 9, 2014, failed. July 28, 2014, failed. August. 19 2014 failed i can laugh at this shit now but that thing killed me june 13 okay wait let me pause there so this was one two three four five six so six times six times let me see one two three four five six yes six times i failed with the training from watson and let me tell you one i didn't know what my study method was and two i'm pretty sure after i failed so many times i just had the spirit of defeat so let's go back to tesla where he said numbers i didn't know my study method that would be numbers and frequency my frequency was down all right um and energy i'm gonna just tie them two together because my energy and frequency was down because I was feeling so much. Now let's fast forward to 20, so this was what? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, seven years. And this is kind of the story of my life. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it, but it takes forever. And I'm, I can't blame anyone but myself. It's really the amount of, like Tesla say, the amount of energy, frequency, and numbers that I put to it is gonna equal my success. I just figured this out. So. Fast forward to now, I'm like, okay, we're going to accomplish everything that you said that you want to accomplish in life, so let's do it. I, I noticed that I get distracted real easy, too. Um, it's okay to have distractions, but if you don't keep your priorities first, they'll keep getting pushed back and back and back. So, and again, you can't blame that on anybody else but yourself, so... Again, not knowing myself. So June 13, 2021, I take the real estate. Oh, wait, let me let me go to this company. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. I'm skipping, I'm skipping, I'm skipping. Okay, so the name of the second agency that I went to to take my real estate class was... Um, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Pro license. Thank God up above. Thank the heavens for this company called Pro License. Let's go back to what Tesla said. Frequency. I had put it in the atmosphere that I was going to take this real estate class and pass, just like before, right? Okay, I mean intention. So there's my intention. Two. I was looking for companies online. Uh, my cousin had went in. She went to another company. She was already doing her class. And I was like, you know, my work schedule, I can't really take off for 40 hours to do this class. So I need to do it online. Plus, I completed all of my degrees online. I am an online person. I, again, I had to learn myself. I can do it online. I really like to be self-instructed is what I've learned. Just give me the knowledge and I'll take it from there. I'll take the test. I'll pass the quiz. I'll pass the test. I got it. I'm really like a self-motivated person. And I realized I need to find a job that is that way as well. I've done call centers forever. 
and I want to move up in management, but I don't want to be on the call center sector. I want to move to like the data background back office sector. Like if I have a hundred cases, I'll do a hundred cases again, because I'm self mode again, not knowing myself. So get back to real estate. Uh, I see all these companies and I'm, I'm telling you, you type in real estate on Google, you got to get a lot of companies. God, universe, creator, my inner self, my higher self. What This company, I clicked on it because you know you got to look at them before you buy. The price really got me too. I'll go over that in a moment. A lot of companies was charging like 300 Like I don't know about y'all, but dang, that's a car payment. So, uh, which, is, which is nothing compared to the money that you make in real estate. What I've noticed about careers is you all use your time. But some people use less time and make more. And if we all have to work and we all make money, I want to use as less of my time as I can. I learned that about myself as well. So you mean to tell me that I can learn this skill, get this license, and complete these transactions and make how much money? Oh, okay. And, you know, it's up to everybody to decide how they would like to spend their time and how much they like to earn all that stuff. Which is fine. Everybody can't do the same thing. We all need it in different sectors. So, I go to the website, I'm scrolling down, number one it got me because it said free trial. So that means you get to, to test out the software, test out the program before you even buy. Bing. The price got me as well. Um, let me go to the price. Uh, let me go to the price. Um, I have a lot of pictures that I'm scanning through. Okay, so $167, which was originally $247, so they gave you a discount. The course includes 63 hours, state approved course, 24 hours instructor support, which means even though it's online, I still have my support, so I'm not missing out by not being in the classroom. 30 day money back guarantee. No other sites really said that. That means, that, correct me if I'm wrong, if somebody's doing your hair and they're like, you have, a, um, if a guarantee, money back guarantee, if you don't like it, I'm gonna give you your money back. That means they know that they can slay with their hands and they won't ever have to get it because nobody wants to work for free. Nobody wants to. So, well, some people do, nonprofits and such. Some people are okay with that because they, from a higher consciousness, they know that nothing in life is free. So, whatever they're getting back is gonna come back to them. It may not be monetarily, you may get more spiritually. Well, we so focused on money when we really should be building up our spiritual bank. But again, that could be another podcast. But for them to say money back guarantee $167 times however many people is using this software, you, you really have to know that your software works. You're going to be losing a lot of money, right? So I'm like, hmm. So we got price. We got 24-hour support. Even though it's online. We got 30-day money back guarantee. And then they also included state exam stimulator, exam prep flashcards course ebook let me tell you what you need what's simple i don't even want to recommend no other, other no other company because this company is just that solid but the state exam simulator let me tell you what that means if you take this simulator and you pass these questions you will automatically pass the state exam when i tell you the questions are the same they are literally the same y'all they may change in the classroom it may be Sabrina on the test it might be Jasmine everything else is the same okay because you're not focusing on Sabrina or Jasmine you're focusing on the answer and the answer is the same in a classroom and in the state test so it's a win-win let me tell you I didn't even know that this was okay in life for people to be like literally give the answers y'all literally giving the answers by changing one thing you've changed the whole thing so you can't say that it's the same it's brilliant i okay work for the government and we were furloughed a year and i'm like okay well these bills still going um so i applied for a temp job you know until that one came back around usually from usually from the end of the year to the beginning of the year if you're a temp they can uh, make you go furlough, save money or whatever because they work by funding. I'm permanent now, thank God, so I don't have to worry about that. But um, I found a job, work, I found a temp company that was hiring for Allstate. Allstate is insurance, you need a license for that. This was back when uh, Obamacare 
you had to have insurance or you have to pay a fine or your taxes. So this is back with the Obamacare area. I didn't know nothing about taxes, y'all. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. So I take, I go, I get the job. Like I say, always, you have to do a video interview and I got the dirt. It asked you three questions on the um, video interview. You got the job. You know what I think they do? They had us all come in, fill out paperwork, go in the room, record and leave. And they will call us or email us with an answer. I personally feel like the managers are there. They will have quickly have us do that thing. And then they will go through the videos and say whether they wanted to hire us or not. I think they look at, again, just like Tesla say, I think they look at your energy I think they look at um, your frequency and numbers. And they can do numbers. Like if you look up new, numerology, it's on your name, your date of birth, all this stuff. Like numbers are not just numbers. There's weight, there's meaning, there's characteristics, there's a lot of things behind numbers. So again, I think they use those formulas, but that's just, you know, that's, I finally, I was like, what is Tesla talking about? Frequency, numbers, energy, like what? You can put that in any scenario in life. Like I did not get it, but it hit me like a, ton of grit and that's why this thing called life you have to live it you can't just read it or hear it when you hear it you're going to get a different meaning out of it when you see it you're going to get a different meaning out of it when you live it it's when you get the most out of it honestly if you ask me like for example you could see a movie about parenting you could read a book about parenting but until you become a parent you have no fucking idea I, you know, and, and we can just throw so many scenarios in there and it will be the same. So, back to the insurance job, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Our first week on the job, we sat at our desk and our managers had us log in. And my manager was so cool. He was like, what you're going to do is do this um, training one line and you're just going to do it every day all week. I'm like, what? So this is how much the world has changed, y'all. I'm at my desk. There's no trainer. There's no classroom. Like all that, no paper pens. Like all of that was obsolete. You're at your cubicle. You have the computer. You have pen and paper. And you're literally taking a test. Same type of style how I was doing for real estate because they both are licenses. So in the license one, someone was actually reading it to you with the pro license. I think you can have someone read it, but I'm, I'm pretty much sure you're reading it on your own, which is my learning style. I have three degrees to date from that method. So that's what works for me. Something about my eyes, something about my mind. My eyes connect the words to my mind. I don't know, it's just kind of how that works for me, doing it by myself, nobody over my shoulders, like all of that plays a part of success with me. So. The girl next to me, she go take her test first. And I'm like, did you pass? She's like, yeah, it was so easy. Oh, my God. And I was so nervous. I don't wrote, I don't wrote up this whole notepad front and back. I'm so nervous because I had these memories. I had these feelings. I had that energy of defeat from, oh, my God, I've done this before. I've been on this road before, and I just felt defeated. However, what helped raise my frequency was I sat at that computer for 40 hours, right, eight days a week. I read the same questions. I wrote the questions, re, re, um, repetition, consistency, over and over and over and over. By the time I got to 40 hours, I was ready for the test. So when I went into the test, when I tell you, I, by the time I sat down, I was getting back up. It was that fast. The questions were the same, and this is how my mind worked. If I'm reading a sentence and I can remember the end part, I already know the answer. So if a person, you can't discriminate by, I, already, I look at the answers and I know which one it is because my mind has, I don't, I don't want to say I have photographic memory because I can't even remember down streets and stuff around here. I, I have a bad sense of direction. But you know what? Billy Carson said that he has a photographic memory, but he has a bad sense of direction. And I just picked up on that. Like, how can you have a photographic memory but a bad sense of direction because that's exactly how I am like if it's in my mind I can remember it I can recall it it's like you know you can't take it away like I have it stored it's like a database but I don't know why these streets aren't a database I don't know I haven't figured out 
figure that one out yet. Maybe I don't care. They change them so much. I do remember I was trying to learn them growing up, but they always have construction and the name would change. I think one of the bridge name changes. It was like, ah, oh, fuck this shit. They keep changing this shit. But my mama street stayed the same. I know that. It's like certain places that I've been to forever. I could drive there on autopilot because I just remember. But all those changes, they throw me off. So again, I guess that's repetition again. Ah, so maybe repetition. Okay, I just put it together. With repetition, I have memory, but if it changes, I don't. So if they were to change those questions around, I would not have aced it. But because it was the same, I, I was able to ace it. So get back to the story. I went in there. By the time I sat down, I got back up. Uh, the man said, you passed. I was so fucking happy. But then I was sad because I was like, why couldn't I do this with real estate? And it hit me. You need to find that same program for real estate. And I forgot the name of the program or whatever. But I was comfortable in that job, comfortable with the job that I was in. And, you know, just not being consistent with my goals and my dreams. Again, it was on the back burner. I'm doing everything else. But so, I don't know. I just get these bursts of creativity and excitement. I'm like, okay, let's. Let's get back to this. Like, I have notebooks and notebooks and notebooks of things that I want to do. But I just seem to get sidetracked. Sometimes I feel like as, as much as I don't want to be managed, if I had a manager that managed things, I would have a lot more accomplished. And as far as my business, I think I'm going to, not I think I am going to invest in a manager. I don't care what the cost is. Just to, to, to help. Uh, maybe co-manage or however they want to do it because I have all the ideas. I just need somebody to put them shits together because <laughs> I be getting lost in thought. This is how my mind works. Okay, you got your business license. Okay, you need to do this. Okay, you need to do that. Okay, you need to do that. Okay, you need to do that. And it's just like, you didn't get back to A because you all the way on Z. And it's it's just too much. My cousin, she's an Aries, and she had that thing down to the science my sister-in-law, she has that thing down to the science, but I feel like I really have monkey brain. I really do. Full of ideas, full of everything. And you see, I'll do it seven years later with this real estate. I'll do it. But if, if I have someone there, I'm pretty sure I can, um, you know, do it a lot faster. Especially if they have the knowledge base and I don't have to research as much. That'll keep me off that monkey road. Because I love to learn. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to learn how to do it. But it's, it takes more time and it pushes my timeline back. Because I'm trying to do a million jobs. But I just kind of realized that about myself. But okay, let's get back to the story. So uh, I'm at a point now where I'm like, okay, these are all the things I want to do. And I am going to accomplish now. You know, I'm getting older. 33 I'm like midlife if I really want these things to manifest they need to be done before I wake up and I'm like 60 right and you know my next life is knocking on my door so I'm like okay you know I and, and sometimes the people I'm around can ignite me too like I was around a lot of business people and a lot of successful people and that energy it really do you really should watch the people you are around because energy is always in motion and like I say if you're in a room with five billionaires you're gonna be number six there's no way you can be around all these people with knowledge wisdom tools resources you'd be a fool not to be not to have a pen and a notepad and to be able to you know sit at the table with them so to speak and you can drop the ball or fumble you can but opportunities like that do not present themselves all the time so you should be happy for them and take full advantage like i have met so many people on social media even though i'm off of it now they all have like youtube and web pages and stuff like i still have information those sites were just popular because they had a lot of people so it's easy so it's like the mall a lot of stores are in the mall but you can still go online to charlotte Ruth and shop you don't have to go in the mall to charlotte Ruth. you get what i'm saying so they have a sink and we need facebook instagram twitter no everybody has their own sites you don't need them it's just it's easier to go to the mall and put your flyers on everybody's car 
than to try to hunt everybody down and get them a flyer. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so let's get back to the story. Um, so I was like, so once the idea came back across my mind, oh yeah, I have a folder and I picked up all my folders and I was looking at everything I wanted to do and I was like, real estate. And it was a different school in there, but I didn't use that school. I used pro license. And I was like, okay, we are going to get this license. So I had the energy, I had, an, I had the intention that I was going to get my license and I was not gonna fail. I, uh, Universe brought this amazing company to me. Repetition, I don't know if it was 40 hours, but you cannot get to the next lesson. The way this class is set up, you cannot go to the next lesson unless you successfully pass. And it repeats itself. So many times, I want to say it's like 10 chapters, and in 10 chapters, it's like you got to read the whole lesson, then you have a quiz, and then a test. So all of that, and then at the end, you have three stages of tests. You have to, you have to pass the class test, and then when you pass the class test, you get flashcards, and you get the state simulator. And you can't um, finish the class until you make a 90 on the state simulator. So by the time I made a 90, and sometimes I had to take it again, like I, like I say, repetition for me. If I can't even remember streets, imagine how hard it is for me to, to keep up with repetition. But again, the more you do something, you have no choice but to be successful at it. Look at these football players. Look at these basketball players. Look at anybody with success, especially if they've been in the game 5, 10, 15, 20. They can do it with their eyes closed because what? They've been doing it for so long. It's repetition. Hello? That's literally all it is. A lot of these companies, Walmart, Family Dollar, Publix, they've been around for years. Yeah, you're going to be the number one company. You've been doing this for years. You learn from all of your mistakes. You keep bringing in new people, new ideas. You're going to stay on top. Like, duh. It's a no-brainer. It's literally like Tesla said and Billy Carson. Your intention, to me, that's like the idea in the heavens and the ethers. You bringing it down in the manifestation and like Tesla says, numbers, frequency, and energy. So let's put this in the equation. Me plus Watson equaled fail. <laughs> it just didn't work. Me plus pro license equaled success. So let's break down a little bit more. Me, older me, um, probably swimming in the wind, not really, you know, knowing myself, like all of that stuff, old me, everything that encompasses old me. Plus Watson just giving me the book, just giving me the paper and just, and putting stars on it and telling me to go take the test. And I probably looked at the stuff like twice. Like that wasn't going to be success. And I didn't know because I didn't know myself. Now let's look at the other equation. Me, me now going through life, growing, becoming wiser, um, having some ups and downs. Because every time you go through ups and downs, you, you build more courage, you build more triumph, you learn to be um more uh you learn to conquer things a little more you you don't become intimidated as much you say well if i pass that i can pass this too so it's not as scary you're kind of up for the challenge more so just all of that just older me grow me knowledge me wisdom me plus pro license and having that outline of these are the chapters these are the quizzes, these are the tests, these are your flashcards. You cannot pass, go collect 200 until, you know, you, you pass this with a 75, you pass this with an 80, you pass this with an 85, you pass this with a 90, you pass this with a 95. That's literally how they set it up. Like each time you took a test, you had to do better and better, better and better. And I'm pretty sure it was the same questions just shuffle around. Everything was online how I like it there's no one I I think I'm like an introvert that whole classroom teacher thing I never liked it I never like introducing myself I don't know I just just tell me what to do <laughs> tell, teach me what to do I'll do it you know whatever it's, it's, that's me and, and that equals success so and let's look at what it tells us say so we had better energy right we had better frequency, right? And we had better numbers. And the numbers was the amount of time that we took the test. We, we knew the correct formula equation for me. Uh, the frequency was the different ups and downs in life um, that I went through. 
and just knowing, no, 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 that would be inner energy. No, no, yes, well, I'm right frequency, and an energy would be like the knowledge that I gained from those ups and downs, and knowing that I could pass. When I put all of these together in this equation, Jamisha plus pro license will equal, not should, will equal without travel, without passing this test, and it did. So what I learned, and I'm so thankful for universe is so funny. It'll put you in in little situations that have the same outcome for big situations so i want to buy a house oh wait so congratulations in advance for everybody that's going to use the company because it's amazing and you're going to pass the test and congratulations in advance to all the future realtors and realtrix is out there and i'm going to tell you what a realtrix is a realtrix is just a female realtor i saw that name i haven't seen anyone else there's so many realtors in the game i just wanted to find something that stood out for me and that was it and um i hope whatever broker i go to will allow me to keep it let me tell you some more things before i i forget um so i told you oh the broker that i want to work for is stephen khan broker in charge he owns excel real estate in charleston i think he has north carolina south carolina he said he was going to do georgia and florida later I, I had told him i can see him all over the world like i really just love like excellence but let me tell you why i want to work with him this is his motto we're not just agents we're family dedicated to our clients and dedicated to each other no agent left behind we will all excel together join the family so what i learned about myself too is i'm really big on family i don't know what my previous life was or maybe just consciousness itself is realizing that we're all individual particles of a whole we all are puzzle pieces of a big puzzle piece and some puzzle pieces are bright and bubbly some are dark and scary and evil but at the end of the day they all make this amazing picture that's really what it is so i follow a lot of conscious people one of them is seven bomar he always says wholeness and i never understood why is he always saying wholeness wholeness because there's so many things to focus on in this life but they should all point back to unity and wholeness that's when you know it's on the right path because the more you're divided you know the more you start to bicker and focus on your differences instead of focusing on how much you're alike and how much you can help each other and you become better i always remember like i think as kids man the powers that be they be trying to teach us so y'all remember power rangers how they would fight the big monster on the ground they would be getting it behind whooped then they would call the little dinosaurs they would get in the dinosaurs they would still get it behind whooped then they would join together and they would win how many cartoons are like that y'all <laughs> coming together is the only way to win <laughs> oh my god and coming together is different for everybody coming together might mean okay i don't need to be this killer in this world you know let me kill for a purpose because you can't just say killing is bad let me kill for a purpose you just kill willy-nilly and it might be for someone else okay, I made six figures. Let me teach other people how instead of just enjoying the luxury. You get what I'm saying? So coming together is, is something that everybody could look in their life and do. It's just going to be different for everybody. So I really have, I put it in the atmosphere that I could work for Stephen Kahn, but if not, the universe will guide me to a broker. I haven't started yet because I'm not getting the COVID shot. I'm not. And I don't know what that future is going to look like. Will I be living in a goddamn van under a bridge somewhere? My job's already making me either turn in a medical or religious exemption. Um, and the deadline is November 22nd, but they're not telling us what that deadline means. And I'm on, I'm on Telegram where you, the truth is not blocked or restricted so you can see people are literally getting let go and they're in the medical industry and you know doctors and nurses make money so i don't know if they have 401ks or savings and stuff but if they're i'm pretty sure a nurse is not going to want to lose her job to go flip burgers 
So if they're willing to sacrifice that much for something that they don't, they don't believe in, and I am too. So before I sign up with the broker, you have your broker fees and all this other stuff. I need to figure out what's going to happen. I feel like they're starting with the government first. Once they're done with the government, everybody else will fall in line. So if your federal employees are falling in line, military falling in line, schools falling in line, everybody else is going to fall in line. And they think they're so slick. That's why they said top 100 companies. So maybe I'll have to find uh, work for a company with under 100 employees. Um, and then maybe I'll have to find a broker that's not national, that's local, with less than 100 people. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I, I'm usually so fast, like go, 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 go. But if you move too fast, sometimes you can make undercalculated decisions, and it could cost you in the long run. So I'm probably still a baby to some people, but I'm still learning. I don't have... Um, as many responsibilities as other people. So the way that I learn my lessons are gonna come different. Um, I don't have a significant other to balance things with. And I don't have kids that are relying on me. So it's just me. I can pretty much eat my consequences peacefully. They don't have drastic effects. Like if I lose my job, I don't have to tell my spouse, oh my God, what are we gonna do? Or to have kids with beady eyes looking at me. I can live in my car if I need to. Um, so I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen with that. And then um, if everything works out, I get approved. I say, thank you, universe. I will ask for the 7 to uh, 3.30 shift so that I could do uh, real estate part-time. And although I may not make a lot of money, that's perfectly fine with me. I really want to get the experience. I remember talking with um, a real estate broker and she was like, baby, I'm going to be really honest with you. Me and my husband are retired. We have income coming in. This is just something that we do on the side. She was letting me know, like, baby, <laughs> we, we have money to pay our bills. She was like, sometimes you can go weeks or months without a sale. And on the back end of that, they do have to pay taxes too. So just kind of looking into all of that and seeing what's, what is that going to look like why i'm not moving um too fast but i am so thankful for the win i'm so thankful for the lesson that came with the win i'm also thankful for the losses and i probably learned more from them losses if you want to be honest about it but no matter what it is in life that you want a real estate license a new car a house a job a significant other a child to move, to go on vacation, to travel, to heal. You can insert whatever. You want to put it in a math formula. Wherever you are now, that's the first part of the equation. I'm going to use me, for example, single. So I'm going to put single first. I'm going to say plus, and I'm going to leave that blank, and I'm going to put equals married. I have to put in what is it going to take for single to be married. And I'm working on that now. I have a whole book on it. It's so interesting. Because you can't just say, man, God might have a homeless man knock on your door. You said a man. So you have to be extremely, extremely detailed with how that's going to equal married. And going back to real estate, not being a real estate agent plus blank equaling a real estate agent for me, that was pro license, that was repetition, that was the wisdom and the knowledge from all of the uh, failures of before. And you know, it just equaled passing. Like Tesla says, you have frequent numbers, frequency, and energy. So that really is the equation for life. I don't know why they don't teach us this stuff in grade school because I feel like we would be so much further in life if we were taught this years ago. But I don't know, sometimes I think conscious is only for people that want it. Or maybe, you know what? I'm reading another book right now about the world being a holographic universe. And it's interesting, it's making me think about things completely different. Uh, that's where I got the individual particles are a whole from. 
when you read books and stuff, movies, the movies and shows and all that too, and even life experiences, they're, all they're doing is giving you different perspectives. If I had dark shades, I could only see a dark world. If someone gave me red shades, I would only see a red world. And you can just keep going. If somebody gave me clear glasses, I could see all these different colors. I could see all these different colors. Everything is not the same color. So I think that's kind of how life is. Like, so, so you come to planet Earth, do you want to play? Um, do you want to cause harm? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to help others? Do you want to be a spiritual guru? It's just, <laughs> it's just like the Sims, y'all. I love the Sims. I don't know if they're going to come out with a five. I'm going to go home and play it today. You make your avatar. It's like big me outside of the computer, making little me inside of the computer, giving little me a color, a race, uh, some clothes, a house, a career, a mate, and like either forcing her to do this stuff and enjoying it or letting her freely do stuff and just watch her. And I feel like God is like, okay, let me make this universe of different people and see what they do and when we all go back to source we really are just God God is the big God outside the computer and all the little people inside the computer are I don't even know if God even made us I think we got to make our own avatar so that's an interesting way to look at it too so on the on the make a sim screen click randomize <laughs> that's what we got we got to randomly pick what we want to be and i think maybe because we grew up we all grew up playing video games right so oh, mario aladdin uh bugs life i played all the disney stuff right you always would collect coins or food and different stuff and you would like advance to the next level so what if you came to life and you just want to freely play and then you bumped into consciousness and you started to learn little stuff. You started to help other people. What if that's you collecting coins and longer life? Like what if you helping someone is giving you longer life? Or what if you hurting someone is taking away your life? What if eating healthy is giving you longer life? What if not eating healthy is taking away your life? We really need to think about that because it's kind of how it goes, right? Okay, and then we get to the next level and then some people are playing the same screen over and over again. I couldn't wait to get to the next level. I was sick of the same level. <laughs> That's kind of how I was like, okay, this is elementary, this is middle school, this is high school, this is college. Blah, blah. Like I've always been ready for like the next. Kind of like that now. Like, okay, Earth was great. What's next? Like, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it, but I think everything is like a riff. A reflection of everything else a video game a video game is a reflection of real life no matter how they decide to program it oh here's another thing oh, all off of real estate I'm sorry y'all um, computer programmers I didn't know I always heard ones and zeros ones and zeros I never knew what that meant but one and zero in so many different orders, in so many different patterns, duplicated so many different times, actually equals alphabets and numbers and everything else. So programmers and coders, that's the language that they use. I guess it's easier to do ones and zeros to fit it in a space. And then behind the scenes, you have a calculator that can uh, calculate it out to mean whatever it's supposed to mean. So when we look at the sounds we see a person we see a neighborhood we see car house da, 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 da. but behind that it was a lot of programming input and maybe the younger people won't know but when we had myspace we actually had to program the myspace we had to find the codes for the music we had to find the codes for the picture and the slideshow we we were literally like coding <laughs> Or we would find software that would code for us and copy paste the code and put it in the source and then refresh, save it, look at the page. Like, what if that's what like life is? Like that book I'm reading about life as a hologram. So we see this life, these trees, whatever you got going on. But behind the scenes, it's nothing but programming, ones and zeros, source God. Like, isn't that, like, 
I don't know, reminds you of the movie The Matrix. So the more I learn, I, I kind of look back at what I've already seen and I can kind of understand it a little bit more. Like in the movie The Matrix, when it was going through those tunnels and stuff, electricity, it kind of seemed like they were either going through a body or a brain. And then they were on the outside and everybody else was on the inside. Like some people say, uh, we are living in God's mind. When they took a picture of space, it looked like neuron. And the neuron picture looked like the brain in our head. Which, if, if as above, so below is basically a mirror of itself. Then, if we are images of God, we're just little God. And God is just that much bigger. Oh, another thing that I'm looking into, they were saying giants really did live on the earth. Like, they would find a head as big as a, like, pond or lake. And that's just a head, y'all. So... I don't even want to know what that body looked like. They probably walk and make the whole land tremble. And the more I think about it, me personally, I feel like that's how a lot of big structures were built. Like, they didn't have um, cranes and different stuff like that. That's what we have. I think they use uh, those people to, to build that stuff for them. And if you look in the Bible, the Nephilim was when the sons of God looked on the women of earth and thought they were beautiful and they started to have kids and stuff and those kids were part human part god so of course if niflum are sons of god let's say they were 20 then the kids that they have with the women would be 10 so if 10 is a half breed 20 is a whole breed what god might be a damn 50 <laughs> i don't know like my mind just be like ah i mean learn this um different perspectives of just looking at life and it's, I guess it's interesting for me because I grew up in one perspective just one 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 and I, all this stuff is like slamming at me and it's like oh my gosh why would somebody hide all of this like if you really wanted to you could still love the one and live by the one and still learn the others I just chose to love them all because I just feel like Sometimes I think these movies be teaching us stuff. Like, I remember Trolls, too, when they took the music notes and spread them all around. I kind of feel like that's how knowledge is. It was, it was spread all around, um, which might be good because if one person get it in control, then my God, so it might need it to be split up. But I don't know. Whatever you want to accomplish in life, you can accomplish. Uh, write down your math equation and just work it out and we know some equations are short zero times zero and some equations are long like how to get to the Sun and time continuum and um, that's what I need to go look at I need to go look at that movie with us with the african-american women's um, NASA scientists I still haven't seen it yet and they would write on that board with all those equations so yeah, some equations are short, some are long, but at the end, you could still get your answer. Just work it, work it out. And you can, um, you can enjoy life as well. Just don't get distractions. There are distractions everywhere. There are distractions everywhere. Just don't lose your distraction. Don't, don't, don't. Just imagine if some people lost their distraction, where would we be? If the, um... If the if, if Dr. Sebi was distracted and he didn't go around healing people, you know, we, we wouldn't even know that we could heal ourselves and stuff like that. Just think of all the greats if they would have lost their focus, what would we be? So we really are depending on each other, whether it's the masses or just one person. Dependency is dependency. And it, it's an effect is an effect no matter how large or small. So yeah, when I got this epiphany, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to turn this into a podcast. So I hope that really inspires somebody. Um, Y'all know I'm long with it, so my podcast be really long, but it was a lot of jewels in there. Like um, whatever license you're trying to get, just find a program that has a test simulator and you're good. MCAT, uh, lawyer, doc, whatever. Um, people all around the world have passed. So 
so they can go back and make these programs. I know what the questions are now. I can go make a program if I wanted to because I know what the questions are. I mean, it's just that simple. Like, people that make six figures, they, they've they done it maybe a hundred times over. They can definitely go back and teach somebody. And I think where they get us is they're, they usually say, oh, you can make a million dollars. But they don't tell you that it took them 10 years to do it. Just because you have the answer, it still took you 10 years to do it. And now you made that money six times over. So you might have the answer, and it might take you five instead of 10. I think we want instant gratification. Well, at least me. And when it doesn't happen, we're discouraged. But don't get discouraged. Just keep at it. And with consistency comes success. There's no way you can shoot a million three-pointers and not be a great basketball player. You know what I mean? There's not, there's no way you can work out every day and not be, have muscles and be fit. There's not way you can eat healthy for 10 years and not be healthy. You get what I'm saying? There's no way you can birth five kids and not be a good mom. Like, you don't deal with choking and, you know... Like it's it's the consist it's the consistency for me. So I remember telling my sister a while ago, like I would get three three phrases would stick out. I didn't know what it was back then. And you can get angel numbers where you keep seeing a number all the time. I get words too. So I would see this is this is probably when I was doing back in fourteen. Consistency. Um, I th- it was three C's, like consistency, completion, and I don't know. It was like three C's. The universe was trying to tell me back then, like, baby, you got it. <laughs> you just got to keep at it. And who doesn't want to be the best at what they do? You know what I mean? Basketball players don't say, I'm the best basketball player. I'm not going to work out no more. I'm not going to do practices. Just tell me where to show up for game time, and I got you. No, they still on the field. And you know what helps them be better? They on the field with newbies, learning new tricks and stuff. Learning new tricks from the newbies, teaching old tricks to the newbies. And that's how they remain the best. So, you just get better at time with anything. Any job that you've ever had, training was rough, but look at you now. Freaking pro. You could turn around and teach classes now. So, I've been doing this my whole life. I just don't know why. I just now got the lesson, I guess. But, hmm. All things in due time, right? So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this uh, podcast. Congratulations on your future. Passing score with real estate. You can do it and anything else that you want to accomplish in life. If no one has told you today that they love you, let me be the first. I love you. Spread that energy on around. Um, I hope you learned something new today. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, I'm going to come up with something to say at the end because I always mix it up. But you know what? I do have an outro that kind of covers everything. So I will check y'all out next time. Bye. Thanks a billion for listening. You can reach me on other social media platforms at www.linktr.ee forward slash L-U-V dot M-E-E-S-H. I hope you have a better than great day. Love ya. Talk to you later. Mwah. Bye. Go Mimi. It's the Misha podcast. Hey. Go Mimi. Me, me. Go Mimi. Me, me.